What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and I'm extremely excited today because I'm finally launching my stairs and railing in Revit course. So I decided to create a course that groups these two system families together uh, for two reasons. Well, first of all, stairs and railing, they usually go together. And the second reason is I find that these two system families, the most complex and the most advanced uh, system families within Revit. The reason for that is because each of these is constructed out of multiple segments and all of those segments contain uh, multiple component families within them, profile families, component families, a lot of different uh, families go into this and in some cases it might just look impossible to figure, how, figure out how these uh, complex families work. So I decided to take the time and to create this five-hour course on just stairs and railing in Revit. Now, the idea behind this course is to divide it into five chapters. Now, the uh, f for both uh, subjects, for both stairs and for both railing, I first have a chapter uh, for stairs. We have two chapters uh, where I just explain how to place the stairs and also how to, uh, how to take a look at all of the elements, components and settings that we have to set up and all of the parameters for each type of the stair. And then we have a chapter where we're just putting everything to the test and exploring these advanced stair projects where we're basically pushing the stair system family to its limits uh, by creating some uh, amazing, uh, amazing stairs. The same thing goes for railing. Uh, we have a chapter where we go over just how to place railing and also how to uh, set, uh, how to view all of the uh, components and all of the parameters. And then we have an additional chapter, the fifth chapter, where uh, we explore how to create some advanced railings uh, in Revit. So I think uh, it's a good approach. I did uh, create a one hour stairs in Revit course a while back, but I think that it deserves uh, a bit more time and uh, um, a bit more attention. So I decided to expand that and now we have this five hour course of completely new content where you will learn pretty much everything that there is to know about these two families. Uh, now uh, we're just going to be going over everything that you're going to see in this course. Uh, but before that, if you want to view it, it's going to be uh, up on my Patreon. Uh, first, a link in the description of this video. Uh, the first hour is going to be available today. And then uh, each week I'm going to be releasing another hour or another chapter. And then uh, on my website, uh, I will be launching the whole course, the whole five hours where you can get it uh, either as a, a part of a membership or you can get it as a one-time purchase uh, if you're interested in something like that. So uh, both of those links will be in the description of this video. Uh, but now let's take a look at what we're going to be exploring in this course. Let's go to Rabbit. Okay, so here we are in Revit and let's start off from chapter one. So chapter one is going to be exploring all of the basics as far as creating and placing stairs in Revit is concerned. So I'm going to be showing you all of the settings and all of the approaches to creating stairs in Revit and all of the tools that Revit has on offer uh, to create all of that. And then also we're going to be exploring a lot of tips and tricks along the way. So as you can see over here, we have all of those tools for creating both component stairs, line-based stairs, and we've also created uh, some stairs using sketches uh, in a couple of different uh, approaches. Uh, we are also going to be exploring the uh, multi uh, level or multi-story uh, stair and how to adjust it and modify it uh, later on. Also, we're going to be talking uh, briefly about stair graphics. So you want to present stairs uh, in the perfect way, of course, not only so the, the stair looks uh, okay, but also your stair should uh, fit the uh, standards of uh, representation for your countries or for your area's code. So we're going to be talking about about all of those settings. And then also I'm going to be showing you a uh, little tips and tricks along the way. Uh, for example, one of those is this, where I'm going to be showing you this double run stair and how to create uh, something like that. 
Now in part two, we're going to be concentrating all on the main types of stairs in Revit. So if I just select one of these, here we have the main three categories of stairs. We have the assembled stairs, we have the cast in place stairs, and also we have the precast stairs. Now each of these categories carries along with it a whole set uh, of parameters and settings and just approaches in how you would create uh, that certain type of a stair. So in this chapter, we're going to be uh, tackling all of those and uh, we're going to be covering the assembled stairs. We're also going to be talking about the precast stairs and all of the settings that go along with that. And finally, of course, the monolithic uh, stair in Revit and all of the little tips, tricks and settings along the way. Now in chapter 3 we're going to be using all of the knowledge that we have accumulated in the previous two chapters and putting everything to the test and we're going to be creating actual stair projects where I'm going to be showing you how to uh, create, assemble and then model uh, advanced types uh, of stairs. So we're going to be creating this cool monolithic stair that has a stone finish and all of the settings that are involved uh, with that. This is something that you might see in a either in a residential building or in an office building. Uh, moving on, we're going to be creating this uh, really amazing custom stair. Now, just uh, looking at the stair tool, uh, you might not think that something like this is possible, but yeah, you can create all different types of custom stairs. So I'm just going to be showing you how to create uh, something like this. It's this assembly where you have this stair uh, that's part partially a bench or uh, maybe an area where you can kind of keep some stuff a shelf or something like that and then it continues off in this a uh, cool concrete zigzag stair uh, moving on we're going to be creating uh, this amazing uh, uh, advanced residential stair uh, where I'm going to be showing you first how to create this custom shape with an arc stair with this flare on the bottom and this custom first step and all of the settings with that and then also how to modify all of the all of the profile families so here we have a custom profile for the supports on each side and then also we have these custom nosing profiles and also of course uh, custom materials so I'm just going to be showing you how to completely customize uh, the uh, your, your stairs. So we're basically taking the stair tool in Revit and just pushing it to the limits. Also we're going to be creating this uh, industrial stair where it has these uh, custom profile steps and also these uh, custom steel profiles along the sides and then also this uh, cool floating stair that's uh, anchored inside of the wall and all of the settings that are involved with that and also this simple residential stair with a middle support. So we're going to be exploring the stair tool and just taking it uh, to the limit in this chapter. Now in the part four or the fourth chapter of the course, we're going to be covering the topic of railing. So we're moving from stairs to railing and we're going to start off by exploring different ways of uh, placing railing on different surfaces. So here we have a railing that goes from one floor uh, up the stairs up to second floor. We also have a railing on topography and then here we have uh, placing railing in complex places where you have a lot of small segments. Uh, also, we're going to be covering all of the different types of railing that we have in Revit and the main parts of railing assembly. So uh, each railing has a sort of a top rail, it has all of these balusters, and then it has rails, the, hor the horizontal elements. So ma mainly we're going to be focusing on those horizontal elements or rails and the vertical elements or balusters. Uh, here we also have some panels. Uh, now we're going to be exploring how to create those. Here we have a custom railing where we're just testing those things out and just seeing what they look like in, uh, when the railing is being placed. And then also finally we're going to be exploring these handrail families and how to adjust the supports in the uh, most accurate way so they align up with uh, the, uh, any additional supports that you have on your main railing. And finally, in part five, we're putting everything to the test. So I'm going to start off by uh, showing you how to create railing as well, not as railing families, but as part of stair families. In some cases, it might make sense to use some of the elements of the stair 
uh, tool in order to represent railing. So we have this uh, glass railing over here. Uh, whenever you're trying to create elegant glass railing, this uh, can be a really useful and time efficient way of creating something like this. And then also we have this concrete railing uh, for this concrete stair. So I'm showing you that. Uh, then also I will be showing you how to add handrails on walls. So in situations such as this where you have a wall on one side, uh, there is no need for a uh, railing, but you do need a handrail, just something to grab on. Uh, too. So that's uh, what I'm going to be showing you here. And then uh, also I'm going to be showing you how to use railing in order to create that lovely white picket fence and how to make sure that it adapts to topography exactly how you want it. Uh, also we're going to be talking about glass railing, types of glass railing and how to create a glass railing out of panels, how to create curved glass and then also glass that is divided into segments. And then also there are going to be a few more projects but uh, to learn more about that as soon as it's up on website as I said first link in the description uh, you will be able to see those as well and of course uh, get the whole course okay so that's pretty much it for this uh, preview of the course you can start watching the course if you sign up to my patreon today uh, also uh, the link is in the description and then later on uh, the course will be available on my website uh, as well uh, where you can get it as a one-time purchase instead of a subscription if that's what you're interested in okay so that's pretty much it for uh, this course and uh, don't worry i'll be back with my regular balkan architect tutorials in a couple of days thanks for watching and have a nice day